Hi, I wanted to show you my Geekcom Mini IT12 system that I got a week ago from Amazon. So it is tucked away here behind my two monitors. It is in sleep mode right now and we will get to that in a second. Uh, I have been fairly pleased with it. Uh, this is the third mini PC I've had in the last six weeks or so. And I've had this for a week, which is longer than I've had any of the others. So this is the box that it came in, and I think most of you have probably seen it. So let me show you the specs. It's an IT12 with the Intel i7 12650H. So that is 10 core, 16 threads, and I got it with 32 gigabytes of RAM and better one terabyte of SSD drive. Um, so this is the setup and it is my backup system. I got a new two new monitors for this. Essentially started anew with my backup system. So the Geekcom is tucked away at the back there and there was a reason. Uh, the fan tended to be quite noisy so I decided to push it back and I also put it on some insulation here. Uh, so it's in sleep mode and I will wake it up so that you can see it. So I hit enter. And here it is, it comes up. And all of it is so far so good. Uh, I am relatively happy. So we logged on, I happen to have core temps going, so you can see the 10 core 16 threads, uh, it's hardly using any uh, power and the temperatures are pretty decent so I'm happy. Um, so it's at the back there and the noise level right now isn't too bad. But when I first got it, it took me a while to get used to the fan noise. So let me tell you a bit more about what I had to go through. I have to say the Windows 11 that was installed was pretty decent. There was no bloatware to speak of. Uh, actually, there was nothing other than Microsoft stuff. So the only things that I removed were Microsoft things that I did not need. Um, let me show you what I so if you go to the system and we look at about you can see that I got it all the way up to in terms of updates a Windows 11 Pro 23H2 I had to use the Windows uh, update assistant but that wasn't an issue uh, I also use the Intel driver updates and I also have AVS, so I use that. So with that, getting the Windows updates and the driver updates wasn't an issue. But the first thing I discovered was when I put it to sleep, uh, the fan wouldn't go off. The monitors would turn off, but the fan stayed on. And given that the fan was noisy, that was an issue. So I had to play around with power management options. I managed to get the fan to turn off when I put it to sleep, but then it would wake up every once in a while. Um, so I had to then go into sleep settings, hibernation settings. Uh, I was looking up stuff on Google and following the suggestions. And in the end, it took me about four hours on a Saturday, last Saturday, messing around. But I eventually managed to get it to both go to sleep, not go into hibernate, wake up as it should for the fan to turn off. So everything's been okay so far. I haven't been using it for much, just playing around, trying to get a feel of Windows 11. Uh, I have a laptop with Windows 11, which I don't really use. So this is the first time I've had a Windows 11 close by to my main setup. Uh, this is my main PC. This is the one that I am on most of the day. That's on a very quiet desktop PC which is down there and I got it as a quiet PC and you can't 
it makes no noise even though it has four fans it's incredibly quiet so this is the layout this is my main system and that's my backup so the gif comb is on my left this is mine i can swivel over but i was just letting the gif comb settle down so i just want to let you know so on the whole i'm happy i'm pleased uh, i had a minis forum and I had issues with that because the display port wouldn't work. The HDMI port worked okay. As you can see, I have a dual monitor system and if I and the minis forum, I wasn't going to use USB-C for monitors. I have never done that. I know that's the way to go, but um, I got the Geekcom because it was two HDMIs. The HDMIs were fine. I'm happy with HDMI. Uh, so the minis forum, the issue was the display port would, wouldn't work. I got a B-Link SCR6 Max. I did like that system. It was quiet. Uh, the thing I realized was that I knew when I was buying it, it was a AMD Ryzen processor. Uh, that was my first time. I don't know how many PCs I've had or computers, probably 20 or more, but I've never had AMD always been an intel guy and uh, it was mainly things like cortem specky all of that just looked different with the ryzen and i noticed that the ryzen unlike intel did not come up with any enough uh, management software that i can could get a look at the ryzen yes uh, ryzen is supposed to have uh, some good software but it didn't support this a processor because it was classed as a mobile processor so I sent that back so I sent the B-Link back I sent the Minis Forum back but I still have the Geekcom and it looks like I'm going to keep it so I just thought I'd let you know about this and if anything else comes up I'll let you know uh, I also post about this on my blog uh, if you don't know what my blog is that's my blog uh, I post pictures on there every day among other things I do post too so that's my blog and so that's all I have to say about the Geekcom right, right now which is that I am fairly pleased thank you